Fig fam, morning. It is May. I haven't posted in a while. I had a few videos, but uh, I didn't like how they were coming out. So I just held off. But I wanted to give you guys an orchard update or nursery update. So there's the greenhouse. There's still cuttings going on. I need to get a shade cloth for it. But, um, check it out. A lot of these are Celeste. MCD is a Celeste tree that I got from my neighbor's yard. I heavily pruned my Stella, so I'm seeing if that older growth wood will grow. Down here, some of my older stuff over here. See, everything is taking quite nicely. And it's unknown Italian from a person in Connecticut through the fig bid. This cold Adama Ramada has been trying to root for the better part of four months. And in the last 15 days, put out this growth. So I know I say it averages six weeks, but you never know. This Ponte Trace has been sitting like this for like a month. Just like that, slowly hinging its way up. Marseille Black VS, Marseille Black VS. This Cavaliere is right here with this one over here, called Adama Ramada. Those two are from my Harvey Figaholics ordered figs. Same with this Black Skia. And they're just putting out growth now, and that's okay. This Yola, look at this thing. Thank you for that. It's ready to be transplanted. But cuttings can vary in time. You know, this one is an 80 Argentile. Look at this. It wasn't doing well, then I rewrapped it in grafting tape to preserve the moisture, and now it's putting out growth. Um, so this heat mat. And then over here I have more of the um, Celeste. Just because I have so many and they're such a good workhorse. Now, con conversely, here's I-258. That started happening. I had to take a fig off this one. But I-258 here, that started happening within the past week and a half. So you really, really never know. And these Italian unknowns I've already up-potted for the seven cuttings I got. Um, but yeah. It's Genovese Nero. They've been taking months as well. And this one's just putting out nice hardy growth that you can tell has roots. So I have to up pot them. But I haven't yet because I've had so much growth out here. I've had to up pot so many trees. So it's quite the contrast from before. I just used a bunch of nice organic fertilizer. And they have really taken to their pots and they're growing. A lot of these Celeste are reserved for a f uh, food project here in Wilmington. And then my special varieties are over here that I haven't tasted yet, right? They're newer rooted cuttings, so they're not ready for sale. Unless you really guys, unless you guys really want them. I have some YOLO bypass. Uh, I have some that unknown Italian. I have some honey plum, Basilica Melisi, and then a few. Those are ones of multiples. And then I have um, some Galicia Negras, Nuestra Senora del Carmen, Native de Argentile. And honestly, those are just ones that I'm, I'm they're just struggling. They're getting comfortable still, those last few. But these Yolos, honey plum, Basilica Melisi. They've rooted quite nicely, and I'm just waiting for them to fruit to confirm. I've also added a, a, a bunch of test subjects to the collection. Uh, Papone, uh, what is this one? Black Tuscan, which is gonna be very similar to Black Madeira, or my Figo Preto. Over here I have a lot of variegated zones. So this is Paragel Ramada. And I'm doing a lot of research on these higher-end figs to see how they do. Um, 
here's another here's my big cold adama ramada that i actually purchased so i had another cold adama ramada that that took and then didn't make it so i got discouraged but i had that cutting and that rooted um let me gonna zoom out here for a sec so you can see white madera number one black madera kk uh which one is this Companiere. so a lot of test varieties here a few left for sale of Taramo, Paradiso, I'm an Italian honey. And then I have some LSU varieties, Holier, Black, Red, Champagne. What's, what's this one here? LSU Purple, LSU Gold, Godfather, um, LSU Tiger, Ronde Bordeaux. So again, the Southeast collection, of the heavy study group. They're growing nicely. I hit them with some fertilizer, the fish fertilizer, the Alaska fish fertilizer. And then I hit them with some more well-rounded granule organic fertilizer um, that had way more uh, phosphorus and potassium. So I'm hopeful. And now we're coming up through May I really want, with these bigger trees, I'm gonna hit them with the bone meal, and the bone meal will add a lot of phosphorus for promoting those figs and the fig growth. But since I had heavily pruned so many trees, I really wanted to make sure this spring that they popped. Um, this is my Coldedon Ramada that is getting, it's almost lignifying its new growth already. And then over here, you can see it's starting to push out some figs. So I'm gonna give it some bone meal since it's gonna stay in this pot. It's very ornamental, it's a pretty fig tree to me. And I'm gonna hit it with some bone meal and some more, it had well-rounded fertilizer last week, that slow release. Um, but yeah, it's really coming together back here. I added a thornless blackberry, a pomegranate. These blueberries have really come in, getting ready to ripen. And these fig trees are just coming along. I've up-potted all of them. I used to have, like, a big jugs of soil here. And I've gone all the way through to up-pot here. So I'm going to have to do a big order soon. My Troiano Calabrese is stunning. If anybody wants a tree like this, it's probably in that 300 range because of how established it is. It's going to put out some nice fruit. Um, but this is what I ultimately want to see for people who want to add high-end fig trees to their landscapes. So you can just set it, hit it with some nice soil amendments, and let it grow. Just a nice prune job, and, and, and it came out beautifully. But that's Troiana calabrese, so it's similar to like a Triano or Canadria. And then this is my, I'm really happy with how Genovese Nero came out out of its pruning. So I have, it's three, one, two, three scaffolding branches, and it's growing beautifully. Genovese Nero, I'm just, or Genovese Bianco, or White Genoa, that I got from Joe Morley. If you guys ever knew figtrees.net, I acquired this tree back in like 2013, and it just, 2014, and it just stayed small for me right before he closed up shop. And it's white Genoa, not to be confused with this Paradiso fig, not to be confused with this white Triana fig, uh, but white Genoa. And I'm really, really happy with it. The only fig I can compare it to uh, that I would see in like Encanto Farms' repository is that it's a light fig with a pink interior. It's really sweet, like watermelon flavor. Um, it has a pink eye. Um, it looked like there's a Saratoga fig. Um, that's what it reminded me of. But yeah, Joe Morley's White Genoa. But as you can see, there's Teramo Stella doing a regenerative pruning. It wasn't coming in nicely, so I said, let's just hack it down and waiting for it to grow back. So I'll keep you guys posted. But everything else is really starting to wake up since I did some heavy pruning. Peter's Honey. Borges of Greece really had some frost, but it's coming back i'm thinking about just letting it do its new growth this year and cutting it here cutting off these scaffolding branches that didn't really take but at the same time should i hold out for these 
you let can you guys let me know if I should hold out or if I should just go back to where all the energy is being focused down here um if you guys can let me know my long dewat is doing great since I pruned I heavy pruned it and transplanted it so I'm looking forward to a lot of growth out of this one if anyone wonders how I transplant the figs when I put them from a pot back in the ground, I take some nice potting mix or compost, mix it with some soil conditioner, and I put it in there to, to help it acclimate to the in-ground soil here. Once it's established, it's great, but it's just getting that initial transplant. I do some, I cushion it with some nice soil. There's my Smith that's growing beautifully since I did another regenerative pruning. Figo Preto is bouncing back nicely. Again, I had to do this as well because um, during, I, I harvested its cuttings too soon. We had a cold bite, cold snap, but it's really coming back with some new growth that I hope I can make a nice branched out beautiful tree again. And then I have this sucker here that I'm just gonna let grow because I can harvest it, so. Paradiso, what can I say? She's just a trooper. I left nine base branches that I might thin out later to like six, but stay tuned guys. I told you, <clears throat> she's gonna be this tall up here by the summertime. So I wanna maybe get to her a little sooner, pinch and see if I can get some fruit set earlier on. And then we had some Got hurt a little here on my uh, hardy Chicago type, but she seems to be doing well. She's branching out here, so I might try to bonsai this tree all to this branch right over here. So we'll, I'll keep you posted. Negra de Agde adjusting nicely. Since I put one, two, in, these two in the ground, like I did with Long Duat, they also got a bunch of compost added. Um, and I'm just letting them grow. I'm just letting them get comfortable. So it's my Italian honey. So, and then I try to do regenerative pruning on my salcha and she is still asleep. Little bit signs of life, but she's moving slowly and that's okay. I have one in the pot. Colodom Grease, doing her thing. And then Colodom Blanc and Colodom Noir have really coming to their own to new growth. I don't know if you can see off of the scaffolding branches. They are just going to town and are happy and comfortable. And I've kind of isolated the dominant branches that I want to grow to give adequate sunlight. And they are off to the races. So I'm excited to have lots of fruit from these three trees. I think they get a lot, they got a nice thermal head start with the greenhouse being here. It's a supportive piece. And they're really, the Coladoms, I know people say that they take a while to get established. These are year five for them after pruning. So they're really getting their root systems established and they're doing well. But that is, um, I didn't really talk about Teoromo, but I gave her a heavy pruning. She wants to be more out in the sun. And so these branches will do and it'll just, it'll all fill in nicely is the goal. Also I have all these strawberries. They're just growing. I was thinking about scattering them here, but they like more acidic soil where we like more neutral soil here. So I might just put them in pots in a different part of the yard rather than here in the bocce court where the nursery is. But yeah, I don't know if you guys want to go compare this to the last video I had of things waking up and moving out of the greenhouse, but I've been selling a lot of figs too. And my inventory is still growing and I'm okay with that because a lot of this is a really big investment in expanding my variety selection, expanding figs that do well in our Southeast climate for local sales, and then the high-end figs that everybody loves to collect, um, really dial in some good systems for growing them efficiently with minimal help. Oh, we're getting our first ripe blueberries. So things are ripening here in Wilmington. Technically, I think we're still zone 8A, but we're entering that 8B part because we're so close um, to not really hitting those colder temperatures they had in the past. But yeah, that's a quick update. Still making rooting cuttings. 
still creating a nice flow uh, of sales. And um, if you guys are interested, my website will be up soon. There's a sign up page. So just sign up with your email and I'll send out a newsletter. And then uh, I'm gonna do a soft release just so you guys can see the website layout and what I, why I care about figs. It'll just be a little about me. But thanks everyone. Enjoy your morning. I have to go get a coffee. <laughs> But yeah, those are my varieties. I have some over here, White Triana, Ponte Tresa, and um, in another pot right over there, I have my Panache Panache. I'm gonna take a quick look. There you go, White Triana. Oh, sorry, I need some fruit set. I was hoping it would grow a little more vigorous, but that's okay with me. She's doing great. Ponte Tresa, it's the second year tree. She's doing great as well. And of course, Punache. It's another variegated. So I've stacked up my variegated varieties. Parachal Ramada, Coldadam Ramada, Punache, and Coldadam Ramada. And Papone, that was the other one. But then here are my cherry tomatoes. Just so you guys know, these are all from seed. And I stuck them in the ground in April, it's May, and I've been harvesting kale. I'm ready to harvest these beet greens. So I just harvest the beet greens like you would Swiss chard or kale, and then the beets will be ready. And then I'll do a second planting when I'm ready to pull them up. Okra, I'm new to okra. I don't know a lot about them, but they seem to have just taken, especially these two. And then I have all these peppers and I put it next to these spoon tomatoes, and I know they're two nightshades together, but roll with me. And uh, these spoon tomatoes are a total experiment because they make the smallest tomatoes I have ever seen advertised. Look at their flowers. They're like little, you just sprinkle them in your salad, I guess. But that's a fun experiment. But yeah, that's a quick uh, garden update for May 11th. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it in, grab a coffee, and head to work. Um, like my plumeria, finish off with her. It's stunning, we're about to get some flowers. First time ever. Pink Bear Cruz plumeria. So I'm doing something right. Those are happy. All right, Fig Fam, that's a quick update. We went over cuttings, we went over nursery, and we went over orchard. And that's where I'm at with my project right now. So holler if you have questions. If you want any varieties that I mentioned, um, like YOLO, uh, Honey Plum, or Basilica Melisi that I haven't fruited yet. They're just from trusted sources. And then I'm going to continue. I'm excited to fruit these to let you know which ones are my favorite of the LSU varieties. Uh... I already have my, I'm really excited for LSU Tiger. I'm really excited for LSU Champagne, LSU Gold, and um, we'll see on LSU Holier. The rest of me, of course, I'm excited for every fig, but those are the ones I'm really looking forward to. So, and if you have questions on pruning, fertilizing, before any of these popped this year i added a ton of garden lime pelletized garden lime and epsom salts to add calcium and magnesium to the soil those are not your mpks but those are micronutrient nutrients and salts that'll a increase your ph and b be part of that micronutrient that help the overall health of your fig trees you have to remember they come from more of a neutral based soil in origin All right. Later, fig fam.